Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek and a special uh, thanks to our uh, Patreons who are helping me to bring out HIV content um, week after week. Uh, without your support it would be very difficult, uh, so we have you covered. And uh, today I'm going to talk about um, a foreign company which is not in the uh, US. It's a Taiwanese company and it has got a therapy uh, under clinical trials for HIV and it's showing some promising results. So I'm going to talk about that today. The company is called United Biopharma. It's based in uh, Taiwan and the name of the therapy is UB421. So let's get started. Welcome back friends. There is hope in the horizon because uh, across the world people are working on developing a, a cure and a therapy and a restraining force on HIV. So we have uh, UB421, which is a monoclonal antibody being developed for the treatment of HIV-1 infection. It works by targeting the CD4 binding site of the HIV-1 envelope, uh, glycoprotein, uh, which is a critical component of the virus that enables it to enter and infect the human cells. By binding to this site, UB421 uh, prevents the virus from attaching to and infecting the CD4 plus T cells, which are crucial for human uh, immune system function. You guys already know from my previous uh, eight-part series on uh, HIV, where I spoke about the basic human immune system, the basic components, the importance of CD4 and uh, B cells and antibodies and all that. If not, you can just uh, go back and have a look at that uh, mini-series. I have a playlist also for that. Uh, UB421 is being developed by United Biopharma, a biotechnology company based in Taiwan. In clinical trials, UB421 has shown promising results in reducing viral load and increasing CD4 plus T cell counts in people living with HIV-1 infection. The important point here is it's the HIV-1 infection we are talking about. There are multiple strains of HIV, so please keep this in mind. It has also been found to be generally well tolerated with a favorable safety profile, so that's again a good news. For a quick recap, CD4 plus T cells are the type of uh, white blood cells that play a critical role in the functioning of the immune system. They are responsible for recognizing and responding to foreign invaders such as viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens. In the case of HIV-1 infection, the virus targets and infects CD4 plus T cells, which can lead to a gradual decline in their numbers and function over a period of time. This can ultimately result in a weakened immune system and an increased susceptibility to infections and other complications. The HIV-1 virus enters CD4 T cells by first binding to the CD4 receptor on the cell surface, which then triggers a series of events that allow the virus to enter the uh, CD4 T cell and replicate inside the cell. However, UB421 works by binding to a specific site on the HIV-1 uh, envelope, uh, glycoprotein, uh, called the CD4 binding site. This prevents the virus from being able to attach to the CD4 receptor on CD4 plus T cells and therefore unable to in infect them, effectively blocking the viruses from entering the cells and replicating. By preventing HIV-1 from infecting CD4 plus T cells, UB421 can uh, help to preserve the immune system and prevent the development of AIDS-related complications. In an uh, innovative approach, the HIV-1 treatment that holds great promise for uh, people uh, living with disease, uh, we can see this as a, a great gift to all those people who are suffering from multiple drug-resistant uh, uh, HIV. Uh, if you want to refresh your memory, please check out uh, the eight-part HIV series, uh, mini-series in our channel, as I mentioned earlier. You can also find it in the playlist section. And um, uh, going further, on August 2022, uh, United uh, Biopharma disclosed that US FDA had approved a phase two trial IND submitted by uh, NIAID on their behalf. United Biopharma has been collaborating with NIAID since 2015 on this study. The purpose of the study was to assess the safety and antiviral uh, activity of UB421 in combination with optimized background uh, ART in HIV-1 infected patients with multiple drug resistance or MDR. And that's the critical point out here. Uh, this therapy is aimed as a lifeline for those people who are suffering from uh, HIV, which is multiple drug resistant. And uh, the HIV uh, virus itself has this propensity to keep on 
mutating so that it can become drug resistant and it's also incumbent on uh, people who use ART to make sure that they are regular in consuming ART so that they don't contribute to the menace of multiple drug resistant strains. In the phase 2 study with the ART stabilized HIV infected patients, UB421 monotherapy uh, maintained viral suppressions for up to 14 uh, up to 16 weeks without viral rebound in the absence of ART. UB421 is currently in the stage of uh, phase 2 and phase 3 clinical trials for uh, ART substitution, uh, treatment of multidrug uh, resistant HIV, as well as proof of concept study of HIV functional cure. There have been no updates on this therapy in 2023 so far. I couldn't find anything, but I'll keep track and bring to you updates as and when they arrive. It would be a good idea to subscribe and press the notify button so that you do not miss any updates. We also have a Patreon account that you can join for special access and uh, privileges to support the channel. And um, for audiences from India, we have a separate uh, Share Trek HIV uh, Hindi channel dedicated to the Hindi version of these videos. Uh, please visit visit uh, at ShareTrek HIV in YouTube and subscribe for Hindi versions of these very videos. That's all from me for now. Please do not hesitate to use the super thanks feature to support the channel. Bye for now. I'll catch up with you next week again with another video on a new HIV therapy. Bye for now.